If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Digital World 2020. Thanks so much for joining me once again. We are going to continue with our Sword and Shield deck coverage, which is very extensive, and we have a serious-ish deck right here in front of you. However, I do have a more um, <clears throat> a couple of derpy decks, if you will. <laughs> Um, after this one, which include Luxio and Seeking. And hello, Vixmel, thanks so much for being here. So, this version of Seishan, our favorite card from Sword and Shield, <coughs> we get to draw three cards with Intrepid Sword, and if any of them are metal energy cards, you're gonna attach them to it. We get to Brave Blade for 230. We are combining Seishan with Galarian Perserker with the Steely Spirit ability. Where your metal Pokémon attacks to 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokémon. So Metal Claw immediately does 90 plus 20 more for each Berserker. We have three a 3-3 three, three line, but we're really just trying to set up two so that Seijian Beast Brave Blade can hit for 270 and get those one hit KOs on the big tag teams. We have <coughs> our Metal Saucers, our Quick Bolts, our Incense to search for them. We have Custom Catchers, which Perhaps Pokemon Catchers might be a little better. We have Switches, we have Shrines for extra damage, we have Reset Stamp, we have Frying Pants, we have Balloons, we have 12 Metal Energy so that we can Intrepid Sword for a bunch. We have Research, we have Marnie, we have Cynthia, we have Arrogant, and we even have Tate and Lysa. No Tag Team Supporters this time around. This is completely untested, disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer, this is completely untested. And the other two decks we have for today is Derpy Seeking and Derpy Luxio decks. So we'll see. Alex, <laughs> six month streak. And I believe you are now a blue table mon. <laughs> Thank you so much for choosing to support the channel with Twitch Prime. Very, very kind of you, Alex. Thank you so much for the continued support. You are indeed part of the blue um, of the blue table mon club. <laughs> Jacob, hola, muchas gracias por pasarte. So I won the coin flip, as you can see I chose to go second. I still am a firm believer that even with this deck that runs four stations and four um see and four quick balls, I still think you need to um you still need to go second. Um okay, so we're up against Pikram. Right. We're up against Speaker Arm. We do have double Teller and Meowth, which is very nice. The dream would be, well, I'm gonna Air Balloon, I'm gonna Marnie, hopefully into a station, retreat into it, attach a bunch of energies, and we'll see what we can do. We shall see what we can do here. All right, so we see a Quick Ball by my opponent. Discarding an Electro Power, that's really good news. Right, that is very, very, very good news. Hello, Joe. I am doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? How about yourself? There's a Pikram, as expected, and we see a pass. So, see, very, very underwhelming turn for my opponent. We're gonna Air Balloon and we're gonna Marty. Hopefully, into a Seishin. We do find a Seishin, um, and just a Seishin, basically. Um, so how likely is it? Okay, so I'm thinking double of double quick bolt just to keep this safe. 
And just grabbing double station, I think I like that. Doesn't make me super happy to get rid of the Melt Saucer, but we were gonna lose it anyway, so might as well make the best out of this. I'll bench both, I'll retreat, because double Galarian Meows means I can one kill these guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Intrepid Sword with the benched person. To win an energy that gets us closer to our goal, which is always great. And we'll see. We shall see what we can do here. Underwhelming turn for us as well. Definitely underwhelming turn for us as well. But yeah, my opponent's turn will be underwhelming for himself as well. So that's really good. Eh, Raimundo, hoy voy a jugar <clears throat> este mazo que estás viendo. Sacian con Galarian Berserker. Oh, not quite. Eh, Sacian con Galarian Berserker, Seeking y Luxio. Hello, Iberserk. Thanks so much for being here. So yeah, I'll definitely attach here. And I'll Intrepid Sword. <clears throat> Still no Perserkers in sight. I do have double custom to target something down. Um, so what I'm thinking yeah, is to just go all in, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna lose another Metal Saucer and that's really bad. I would love to top the, top the gate quick ball so I can make use of this. Um, my opponent is finally able to dead change. Did commit the energy to the Coco V, so he might just knock out my station if he finds the Thunder Mountain. And there it is. So we're gonna lose our first station. Not the end of the world, right? Generally, not the end of the world. Yeah, station's ability is definitely really, really good. Um, we need. One Berserker and a Shrine to KO Peter on. See Jirachi. This guy's... Maybe I need to KO this guy though. <clears throat> maybe I'm gonna need to KO the Coco anyways. Alright. Very nice top deck. Right? Very, very nice top deck. So, hmm, what do I do? I think I'm gonna have to KO the Coco. But do I hold this hand? And I don't expect to be returned KO, though I might be. So I don't think I can afford to keep this hand. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, this is pretty decent. I could have knocked out the Pikaram if I did find this guy. Um, all right, and I do find a Metal Saucer, which is good news, right? In case this Seishan goes down, which I'm hoping it won't. This has to retreat, all right. Like, I'm not ecstatic. And I'm only taking two prices here, but I think it's important to eliminate this guy because the Coco Prism is gone and the Thunder Mountain is gone as well. And the Shrine will start ticking on this guy. And I already have a Berserker set up. So if this Seishen survives, then the loss of the Metal Saucers will be okay. Um, no, yeah, the Metal Saucers. I do need to find myself a Switch though. I've lost one, so I still have a couple. I still have a couple and I can quick over for Angry as well. Um, okay, so Joe, what do I think about the line of Gusting Effects in Dex? Is three times Great Catcher the way to go for? Is better for a Custom Catcher plus one Great Catcher? I mean, depends on your build, depends on the threats, but I don't think three Great Catcher is the way to go because of the V Pokemon, right? Great Catcher does not help you get V Pokemon, so Great Catcher is a lot less good now um, and it will become less good as time goes by. Um, I think four custom catcher plus great catcher is a really good balance in decks. Um, and I think four Pokemon catcher is also, plus one great catcher is also very good because Pokemon catcher versus custom catcher, custom catcher is guaranteed cost effect for two cards, right? But Pokemon catcher, if you flip heads on average once out of two, then you're playing two Pokemon catcher for one cost effect. So then in, in the end, it's the same thing but you don't need two Pokemon catchers in one hand at the same time. And you can also potentially flip two hands on Pokemon catcher, or you can flip two tails. So they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. 
Huh? But definitely three times straight catcher, I don't think it's worth it anymore. For sure. That, that's for sure. Okay, so I actually don't think I would mind if my opponent chooses to KO. If he finds double Electro Power, he hasn't played a single one. He hasn't found a switch yet either, so that's good. Um, is the music okay, by the way? Or is it too loud? Um, the worst deck you've used is probably Rillaboom on Stone Journer. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't super impressed by Stone Journer yesterday. Ooh, so my friend is playing more than one stadium. Um, what do I think about Malvar Mewtwo? Hey, hey, man. I love it. I think it's really powerful. I'm definitely a top tier deck. Okay, but my opponent ends up... My opponent ends up whiffing majorly here, which is very good. Uh, I don't think I need to bench the station. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'll fail this, and then I'll Synthium. So I'm looking for Switch. I found Switch, that's awesome. I will go ahead and Prime it Wisdom 1 Switch as well. And I find Shrine, that's really, really good. And then I can go Switch onto a Berserker, Retreat, and now I'm in a fantastic spot, because I am one energy away from KOing either of these guys. And, um, Thanks to the Berserker, I always have damage to KO this guy, so I should have this game one at this point. Unless I don't find an unless I get stamped and don't find an energy off of three cards, which I feel I should be able to. Right? I feel like I should be able to. And hello Ruben6, thanks so much for being here. Henry, thank you so much. You're busy at work, but you didn't want to miss my stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Henry. That's very, very kind of you. Um, saludos hasta Argentina, Wishmaster, muchas gracias por pasarte. You think your favorite decks are definitely Pigram and ADP Station and Obstagoon? Yeah, those are three very good decks. The more I play Obstagoon though, the less I like it because I feel like it's easily adapted to. Like if you expect Obstagoon, it's so easy to tech for it, I feel. Um, Wishmaster, estos gatitos ganarían. Steel Spirit does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokémon for your melee Pokémon, so... Station beats also started dealing 250 damage, or with 2, 270 damage. Um, but yeah, my opponent simply full blitzes, and that's a game. Doesn't even bother grabbing energies. I could simply retreat, and there's a victory. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's jump into our next match here. Interesting that Sword and Shield releases and then they give out like these expanded base cards which are not even like great sets or great cards anymore. Um, Alright, so let's jump into our next game. Picarum can bypass Obstagon with Jolteon, it can also paralyze the Obstagon, right? If you paralyze the Obstagon then it's not attacking and then you can KO it. So yeah, Obstagon, like, on paper it seems good. <clears throat> on paper it seems good. <clears throat> Alright, I would not like to go first, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm doing well, Guerrero, thank you so much for being here. Carlitos, bro. <laughs> We found a lot of med decks. There are a lot of med decks for sure. That is also very true. That is also very true. Alright. Right, so we're up against Mew3 Malamar. This is definitely the matchup. This is definitely an, imp an important matchup right now. Turn 1. Turn 1 Chaotic Swell. I do have Mimikyu in this. So instead of like having Marshadow to be able to play my Shrine, I simply have Mimikyu. And look at that, right? Underwhelming turn 1s. I swear, I absolutely swear by the fact that going first is not a good idea. Okay, so I'm not so sure I want to lose all these resources. 
So I'm actually gonna quick roll away a <coughs> metal. For the rank no, for a meow. What am I saying? Or angry can wait. And then I'm gonna like say the Liza. Hello! I like to analyze that here because my opponent's turn one was so underwhelming. What? What? Okay. I don't expect my opponent to KO me, right? What a hand. Alright. I do like using the Metal Saucer. The fact that I drew two other Metal Saucers is just insane. And now I'm gonna have to research away my Metal Saucers, so. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess I can I can now quick ball a Metal Saucer for Orangaroo and then put the Metal Saucer at the top. That would be good. And thanks so much for follow Madcraft. <clears throat> Will a Metal Box for Collins be be competitive? It might, yeah, it might. And Carly Dog, thanks so much for the code for the code that you uh, left on chat. Um, hey man, did I change something in Malar Mewtwo since I made a YouTube video about it? Probably, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> um, I don't remember what list they used exactly. Um, Mewtwo Water Box with Frostmust. Yeah, I was actually thinking of building that for sure. I can definitely showcase that. Um, I haven't tested for Collinsville, I haven't tested any expanded new decks. Um, Alright, so there's Gengar Mimikyu. Um, ooh, you know what? This could be a problem with Fion. This could be a problem with Fion for sure. This will be a problem with Fion. I mean, I don't mind losing the Meowth, but... Well, I do, actually. I do mind losing the Meowth, in fact. Stall beats almost every deck. Which stall? You mean, like... In, in standard? How do I like Marnie and Seishin? You replaced it with Cynthia. You'd rather draw more cards? Uh, yeah, I, I, I really like Marnie, Guerrero. I actually really like Marnie. I think it's um, a fantastic card, for sure. I think it's an absolutely fantastic card. Okay, if you knock out my Seishin, you knock out my Seishin. Even, I even hope you knock me out. I hope you go Fion, knock out my Seishin. Because then I get to keep my Perserker and I have Double Metal Saucer plus Quick Ball to return KO. So I actually really hope my opponent goes for Fiona and knocks out my Seishin. Am I gonna go to the Oceana IC? No, I will not be going to the Oceana IC, unfortunately. Alright, I like this. As long as we don't get Marnied, I like this. If we get Marnied, then I don't like this. Please don't Marnie me. Oh no, he's not gonna Marnie because he wants to knock me out. Alright. So, yes, we lost two prizes, but we might get three in exchange, and I definitely don't mind that at all. I definitely don't mind that at all. Um, but yeah, Marnie, I think Marnie is definitely slightly better than Cynthia, because Cynthia puts cards back into a deck, right? So even though it draws you one more card, if you're putting cards back that you didn't need, and then you're getting them back, then what's the point, right? Uh, why? Oh, I was like, why can't I play Metal Saucer? But I definitely can play Metal Saucer. All right. So I do have two Berserkers and one Incense. So one Berserker and one Incense is prized. Will I be able to find it though? That's the question here. That is the question. All right, so I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. <clears throat> I'll do this, and then we go Professor's Research. There we go, and we get a return KO right here. Not bad, not bad at all. Boop, Brave Blade 250, goodbye, Gengar, thank you. I wish I had been able to set up a Meowth, because then I would be able to hopefully find either the Incense or the Berserker. Well, there's the Meowth, but like, I mean, two hit KOing or one hit KOing the Mew 3 and then just outright winning the game right there. Um, so I might just use Intrepid Sword next turn. I do have one Melt Saucer left, but I feel really good. I think we're in a really good spot. You found Sinchino Shedinja. <laughs> My Tiana, thank you so much for the follow. Fun fact Puchiana was my first shiny ever in any Pokemon game, in Pokemon Emerald. Um, so I like Puchiana and my Tiana because of that. 
Um, I hope my opponent goes for Poltergeist again. Expecting me to have like a really big hand and therefore he crushes me and gets an RKO, but that's not gonna happen, thankfully. Um, I also had no control over it. Uh, but yeah, like, Marnie gets you a fresh five cards, right? I think that's the biggest thing. Okay, now I don't feel bad about not getting the Meowth because that means we always took a KO here. Um, no GX attack anymore is really good news, right? No GX attack is really, really good news here. Really, really good news. Because he can't heal the damage. So just took a killing this Mewtwo is completely fine by me. If he night watches, I need him I need the switch and the Meowth. Those are the two cards I need him not to switch. Or not to hit. But yeah, he goes for Poltergeist. I think that's correct. Risking it since I do have eight cards in hand. So now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bench. I'm gonna switch. And do I Marty to conserve all of this? Uh I feel like I'm just going to research. Yeah, I found Metal Saucer, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I also found this. I also found Metal Frying Pan. Which, if I attach here, I still die. So I'll attach here for sure. And I'll definitely do this. And then I'll do this. And then I will not play anything else. Because all the cards are useful. Right? And 250 damage is a lot. <clears throat> that is a lot of damage. This is the first set that you semi blinked out, Tiber Zerg. What do you mean? <laughs> How far did you go with the bling? How far did you go with the plan? Okay, so we see a retreat and Treebeard, thanks so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime subscription on the channel. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you so, so much. All right, so we will be able to power up Trevnor. So we're gonna need to find an energy. Okay. So, Marnie and uh, Custom Catcher are the key cards here, right? Oof. Plays two big turns. That's super annoying. Because then I could have just found Energy Preserver and won. <clears throat> Plays two of the big turns. NDD. Okay. Yeah, NDD is not a big deal. Orangru will be super useful. I hope we get to keep the Marty. We do! Wow, nice. We did get to keep the Marty. I still need to find energy though. I'm down four Metal Saucers and seven energies. I Thankfully I have three more energies, unless there we have some prize. Um, so I definitely think finding energy is the most important thing here. So I should thin as much as I can. Uh, I'll do this, <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and Marty. Please, energy, don't fail me. Oh. <sighs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna bench this. I'm gonna play double custom catcher, and I'm gonna do this. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Come on. Okay, I mean, I don't lose immediately, which is good. Um, I do have this. So I'll just... I don't need the extra, the bonus damage, right? Unless I found... No, even if I found all three, I can't hit for 300. There's the energy. Okay. <clears throat> so if I get to keep the great catcher, I'm good. If I get to keep, if I get to keep basically anything, I'll probably just draw into the Great Catcher, so I should be fine. I should be fine. I should be fine. Does this 
survive now. Marty, that's okay. Well, I guess it's not okay. It does, I don't know what I have left in my deck. You got your full art V card, two ordinary rod, secret rare, and full art playable supporters. Wow, so you got full art Marnies and full art researches? Very nice, Ivers are very nice. You got those in real life or on PTCGO? That's very nice, that's very fancy. I've had the urge to do that sometimes, but then I stop myself, it's just so much money. And I've definitely thought about it. <clears throat> I've definitely thought about it. Okay, so do we keep the Marnie? We do keep the Marnie. We have 10 cards left. So we need to find... That. <laughs> we need to find that exactly. And that's the game. That will be the game. Not bad. Not a bad showcase for this. I like this idea of like... Turbo Sation, where you just have Sation and a bunch of metal energies, and then you just go ham. This loses badly to Baby Blast Evelyn for sure, though. So that's a big issue, I guess. Um, but I, outside of that, um, I like this. I like this version. It felt nice. It's only two games, right? These are the first two games I've played, but we beat P Ground very solidly, and we beat Mewtree Malamar very solidly as well. So that's definitely a good. A positive for for the deck. So yeah, that will be all for this turbo station. Now we're gonna play some more derpy decks in Seeking and Look Show. We'll see how we do with those. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you're live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second with the brand new decks. Be right back. <laughs> 